listening to me, I know who it is, man. It's your boy, Big One, you know what I'm saying? Not the motherfucking little nigga, the big nigga. And I'm back in the cut with some videos for y'all. So look, man, check this out. It's December 29th, and it's 9 o'clock, you know what I'm saying? So I'm at your grinding real quick before you boys go to work. Um, I think I got like, I think it's like six or five videos I'm finna do for y'all real quick. Uh... And these videos are going to finish out 2022 for me. I got these videos I'm going to do. And then I got to make my 2023 vision board video. And it's basically going to be talking about... Uh, that video might be dropping on New, on New Year's, though. Like, all these videos, I'm going to drop, like, two a day. Because, like I said, I think it's, like, between... It's between four to six. I think it's six, though. So, I'm going to drop two a day. I'm going to drop two today. Two tomorrow. And two on the 31st. And so, on New Year's, y'all will see my... Um, my vision board video and you know what i'm saying the goals we got set out for 2023 plus all the lit shit we got going on this weekend so if you right here if you're new to the channel right now man smash that subscribe button because this weekend we getting lit man i'm gonna show y'all get y'all a little glimpse of what to be looking for for 2023 man i'm coming with them banger straight heat i'm getting out more i'm vlogging more i'm you feel me i'm gonna show y'all why why it's slg you know what i'm saying why it's so lit game uh got the pranks coming back in too I don't know if I'd be taking me a little more to do a prank because, like, I actually want the pranks to be real, you feel me? Like, with the costumes and all type of this shit. But I'm explaining all of that in the 2023 uh, uh, vision board video, man. Happy New Year and everything like that. But look, we ain't going to waste too much time because I wasted enough time already. If you're new to the channel, man, smash the subscribe button. Click that bell right beside to be notified when I'm uploading a video. Follow me on all my social media, man. It's in the description down below. And, uh, hey, let's rock out. So, look, the first video we're finna check out, man, is Seven Rappers Who Has Shootings On Live. So, this is Seven Rappers Who's Actually On Live and Had To Up That Fire. Straight up. So, we finna check it out, man. We finna get right into it. These are rappers who almost died or lied. Starting with famous rapper, Duke Deuce, who was from Memphis, Tennessee. Because back in September... Ah, damn, Duke. Damn, I thought Duke, uh, Duke Deuce was from uh, Georgia. I thought he was from Georgia. In 21, Duke was posted in the hood and went live on Facebook, chopping it up with his fans like he always does until things went left. Because at one point, Duke was on live telling the people who live in Pepper Tree Apartments that they should come outside and mess with him since he's not bougie. But before he could finish his sentence, shots started going off in the background. Come outside and with me, Pepper Tree. We ain't on none of that bougie. And as the shots got louder, Duke turned to run away with the camera still in his hand. But at some point, the shot stopped and the live stream ended. And at first, no one knew if Duke had got hit up. But a few hours after the incident, he posted a video on social media letting everyone know that he was all good and didn't get hit. And in the same video, he told them to step their game up. Better step it up. Come on, bro. I'll And some believe it happened. She ain't got a lot of real quick, you feel me? Like, that would be wrong with a lot of rappers and shit, man. Like, y'all, bro, it ain't called being Hollywood because you want to go back and post up in the hood. My nigga, it's called being smart. Now, what if, you feel me, things would have went left? You know what I'm saying? You would have got hit or something. You could have lost your life out there. All because you ain't trying to seem like no Hollywood ass nigga, bro. You got a family, man. It ain't all about trying to be Hollywood and nothing like that. You feel me? Like, shit. If ain't nobody posted up on the block already, hell, just go and get up out of there. You feel me? Shit. Come back another day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Gotta be smart, man. Because he was in the ops territory. Because after the situation, some of Duke Deuce's ops were on social media laughing and taunting him because of the situation. So next time, he might want to be more careful when he go live. But Duke Deuce isn't the only rapper from Memphis who's been shot at on live. Because Memphis rapper PSO Emmett's situation was even crazier. PSO Emmett was a 16-year-old rapper making waves in the city with songs like Sliding and Don't Feel Him. He gained a local buzz and racked up hundreds of thousands of views on his YouTube videos. But before Emmett could make it big as a rapper, he was gunned down while attending his friend's funeral because on Saturday, October 23rd, Emmett was at a funeral for his friend, Jamarco Smith, another teen from Memphis who had died. And on the way to the funeral, PSO Emmett's cousin, PSO Dede, started a live stream showing them walking in a group down the road to the church where the funeral was being held. And toward the end of the live, Dede taunted the ops, telling them how they ain't on nothing and never did anything to them. Mm -hmm. 
Bro, and this not even to be funny. You on live trolling. Y'all at one of your partner's funeral. And you on live trolling saying a nigga ain't never sent a slingshot your way. Sent a slingshot y'all way. My nigga, what? This shit don't even make sense. Nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? How the fuck is you at your partner funeral if a nigga ain't send no slingshots towards y'all way? It probably ain't come towards you. But then there's some shots apparently, nigga, y'all at a fucking funeral. And then you on live. So I said, bro, social media be fucking lot of you niggas up. Ain't no way in hell I'm finna be on live. He ain't with a nigga that's up the skull right now on my partner. If anything, I'm finna be stalking you out, stalking your pages and seeing which one next move is. But instead, your ass trolling. And now you done got your fucking, your other partner killed. Did they say, what did they say, cousin or homeboy? I, I never said the same shot I Oh, God. And not long after the live, a group of men pulled up in a black jeep and started letting off shots, hitting Emmett and his cousin Dayday before fleeing the scene. His cousin Dayday was rushed to the hospital, but Emmett died on the scene. And even though PSO Emmett was known for showing guns in his videos and rapping about the streets, his mother told the media that he was just a normal kid who worked at Wendy's, went to school, and worked on his music. And according to those who know him, Emmett was a good kid. And See, that's another thing. That's another thing, bro. Trying to live a lifestyle that you feel me, you ain't really cut out for. So you flashing all these guns and stuff on social media. But when you get hurt, your mama saying you was a good kid. You worked at Wendy's. You went to school, all type of little shit like that. Man, you can't do no shit like that, bro. Like, y'all, bro, that's why I said, like, y'all be letting these rappers fool the fuck out y'all, bro. I ain't even talking about little dude. I'm saying, like... His influence probably was a rapper that talked about guns, smoking weed, with hoes, bitches, all, 24-7, 300 hours out the day. You feel me? That's just a made-up number. But now your life is going because your dumbass cousin want to troll. Why y'all let a friend for y'all other partner saying niggas ain't sending no slingshot y'all way? Man. Kid, and the image he portrayed in his music videos was not the life he lived. Hey, that was my point. I would have knocked the phone out of his head. For life, he enjoyed himself. The best kid you ever want to be around, full of everything you want to see. But in the end, he still suffered the consequences of living that lifestyle due to his cousin going live and dropping their location. But not long after the situation, a 22-year-old man named David Lee was arrested in connection with the shooting. And he's being charged with first-degree murder. And police also arrested Rico Lee, another person who had something to do with the shooting. But now let's move on to Spider D, a rapper from the Wild Hunnids on the south side of Chicago who's a black disciple. Spider started making music in 2017, and he has slowly built a buzz in his city over time. But what really made him go viral was the situation he had while on Instagram Live. Because back in May 2020, Spider was outside and talking about some new music he planned to release but out of nowhere he changed the subject and started talking about his ops and seconds later you could hear a car pull up and someone hit adam with a switch you know, hey you know what they say about the one with the hoodie on in the summertime on bd he ain't out here trying to play bd in right up and according to internet rumors, Spider D had dissed someone named G Ski from a GD set. Because there's even videos of G Ski arguing with Spider D on Instagram Live. You don't know me. You break it down to beef for what beef? 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 For what Ah, this 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 video like kind of police as fuck. I just thought about it, bro. This shit like police as fuck, bro. Cause this nigga breaking it down who he was he with and that like bro Man what the fuck this shit feel weird now cause this nigga literally just mentioned who the nigga he with and shit like, But damn they let off a switch on that boy and that boy did he get hit or something? 
you was not what, what you to me for saying say my name in your song. And thankfully, Spider wasn't hit in this shooting. But later this year, he finally spoke on the situation during that live in an interview on YouTube and said that that was weak and he used to stuff like that. Was that the last day you hung out there? Did you go back out there after that video? Because that would have scared my life, Spider. <laughs> And although Spider didn't get hit, this next rapper did. Because on February 12th, this year, Kodak Black was in L.A. with Gunna attending Justin Bieber's Super Bowl party. But when leaving the party, a fight broke out. And Kodak instantly jumped into the fight, attacking someone on the ground. But seconds later, a masked man in the background pulled out a gun and shot in Kodak's direction. And it's still unknown who the target was in this situation. Because Kodak only got hit in his leg and none of his wounds were too serious. I remember that. days after this incident took place, Kodak gave more details on it in an interview with The Breakfast Club. Club. And thankfully, that didn't cause Kodak too much trouble. How you feeling? How you feeling? How's your leg, first of all? I'm a nightish, by the minute. Now, the incident that happened, was it something that was long-lasting, or was it just a, one of those things with one of your people, they say got into an argument, you was helping one of your people's out? I don't know, I'm like, on spot, latching, latching, that's it, it wasn't nothing, like, oh, nobody was, like, after, 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 after. But I can't say the same for this next rapper since he got caught lacking by ops while chilling on live with his friend. Indian Rare Boy is a rapper and gang member from California associated with the Inglewood Bloods who's known for beefing with the Rolling 60 Crips because a member from the Inglewood Bloods even defaced Nipsey Hussle's mural and tagged his name over his name to let them know who did it. Nipsey's people didn't take this too well so they made a video telling the Bloods if they don't punish this guy named Capone who did that they're going to take things into their own hands. And you going to come over and put this baby Capone Alright, I bet you gonna change your name today. I bet you that y'all need to y'all need to beat that right now before the homies mine up and, 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 and come do some dumb to y'all. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Callie, hey. Kelly, the motherfuckers, yeah, they like that. They like that out there in Cali on that thing. That was disrespectful as fuck. Nigga, what the fuck? Internet goes back to social media, bro. Y'all niggas do anything for fucking internet, bro. Y'all niggas do anything for fucking social media. My nigga, why would you record yourself, spray paint, then put your name on Nipsey Hussle? But this nigga is a fucking legend, bro. He a fucking legend in the streets. He ain't even really... He did music, but you feel me? He, his legendary mode, street credit. Man, my niggas dumb as a bitch. And not long after that video, Indian Red Boy got into the situation and defended Capone and went on to diss the Rolling 60s. But not long after all of this, Indian Red Boy was chilling in his car, laughing with Capone on Instagram Live. But out of nowhere, you can hear shots going off in the background. Red Boy is then seen gasping for air. So Capone asked him for the location he was at, but Red Boy could barely make out the word. I remember, I seen that live on that thing. That, that shit was sad as fuck, yep. Dude, sad as fuck, like it hard as fuck. They got the words Hawthorne before passing away. Jeff and Susie, we're off of Chantron Avenue in the city of Hawthorne, and you can see Hawthorne PD. Uh, they are wrapping up their investigation. They're still taking some photographs. The male in his 20s uh, that was shot and killed inside this car. There are a lot of bullet holes inside that windshield. We zoomed in earlier. And since the defacing of Nipsey's mural brought a lot of attention to the two of them, so many people assume that this incident was their way of getting payback. But some say that's not true. Since you have other people saying that he was shot over since he has switched on his game. Because Red Boy wasn't always a member of the Inglewood Bloods. He used to rep Hollywood Pyru from Compton, but he left his gang on bad terms and his own people took him out. And his brother said three men and a girl had set him up and he promised that he would get revenge for Indian Red Boy. And subscribe quickly before we move on since I'm giving $100 to one person who subscribes in the next seven days. But now, let's talk about... Damn, that's crazy. Mm, I told y'all, hey, that Nick Kelly, they don't play that shit, boy. They do not play this shit, bro. They're switching clicks and shit and all that. So what y'all niggas be doing, that fan out shit y'all be doing, jumping clicks and shit and riding the next click dick, bro. Them niggas, I right, go to Cali with this shit if you want to. What happened to Bugatti Casino? Bugatti Casino is a rapper from Fort Worth, Texas, who had always been involved with the streets because he caught a burglary case at just nine years old. And over the years... What the fuck? <laughs> 
This nigga caught a Berkeley case at nine years old. Damn. <laughs> Shit. Back to Juvie 25 times and said he would only be out of the streets for like a week before getting locked up again. And at age 17, he did around six years in prison. And once he got out of jail, he started taking music seriously since he wanted to get out of the streets and do something more productive with his life. And although he was yeah, trying to change yeah, his life, yeah. he faced problems. Because one night, Bugatti was live on Instagram chilling in his car and talking to fans until someone off camera approached Bugatti's car, telling him he needed to move his car since he was in front of his house. What you want, man? And eventually, they started arguing. And things got so bad that the guy tried robbing them. And no one could tell what was going on, but you could hear them tussling in the background before shots started going off, before someone ended the live. And although most rappers have been caught lacking while on live, this next one wasn't. Because one day, a popular Detroit artist... Damn, so what happened? Did he get hit? Did he hit somebody? He hit the dude? What the fuck? You just can't end it like that? What happened? We heard the shots and shit, but like, you feel me? Was he... Was they hitting or what? And then, if he telling the nigga... Crank the car up. Why the fuck this nigga ain't pull off? Videos like this be making me mad, bro. Because y'all niggas be moving dumb as fuck. Like, y'all niggas don't be smart, bro. And I just pray and hope to God when my success come, and you know what I'm saying, I'm I'm, goddamn, I'm blowing up and shit, and I'm getting all these millions of views and followers and that, that like that. I pray that I don't, I don't do no, I don't get caught up in all that shit and fuck around and you feel me? Like, come on, bro. Like, you gotta be smarter than that, man. Like, the Snapdog was standing on the block screaming into the camera. And in the distance, you can hear someone yelling at Snapdog before he dropped the phone. We ain't gonna talk with nobody out here. It's real. Right, no. I'll snap. It started firing in the direction of the guy he was arguing with. And Snap has more viral clips was shooting to help attract attention to his music. But he later admitted in the interview that it got too out of hand. And he started attracting a lot of attention from the police. That's real. That's my real life. You know what I'm saying? And it took for me to get smart. Like, yo, man, we got this getting out of hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, police really watching it. You know I'm I was just showing my life. But that's nowhere near as crazy as this rapper who got into it with his ops while shopping for a Kobe Bryant jersey. Honeycomb Brazy. Grew honeycomb. Up in Alabama, Free that man, man. Free Honeycomb, and Brazy bro. Brazy never had anyone to guide him, him because his parents were in prison throughout his childhood. So Brazy hopped head first in the streets and is well known for his street altercations. Because even though he's 27, he has spent over 10 years behind bars. Damn, Brazy 27? I thought that nigga like got them 24, 25. Shit, I right, did. So he up there, up there. Almost lost his life multiple times. He was even involved in some street beef. They got so serious, his grandparents were killed in the house fire over it. Lewis, yeah, that, that was sad as fuck. That's crazy. And we've also learned that they are the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy. But the situation on live with Brazy happened because of something back in 2016. Because one of Brazy's childhood friends, named Stank, had walked in and saw Honeycomb Brazy with his girlfriend, which made him mad. But Brazy claimed the only reason he was there was to sell her some gas. But Stank didn't believe that so the two got into a heated argument and stank ended up dying and they tried charging brazy with his body but he went on to be the case but his entire city still hated him since his city had a ton of love for stank so after getting out of jail brazy was getting shot at left and right whenever someone caught him lacking however his most controversial moment was in november 2020 because he was live about to buy a kobe jersey outside of a barbershop until about seven minutes into the live gunshots started going off and no one was injured in the incident but a few days after this happened brazy he had them release the footage with another angle of the situation. And the footage shows a great BMW passed him. And a few seconds later, Brazy's friends ducked behind the car and started shooting in the direction that the truck went in. So it shows that Brazy and his people were on point and weren't going for the disrespect. But speaking of disrespect, King Von disrespected a ton of rappers. So click this to see times King Von humiliated rappers. <laughs> Shit, we might have to tune in that bit. But hey, look though. There was the video of seven rappers who had shootings on live. Uh, I I think two of, two of them died. Well, one of them ain't even have the Emmett dude. I think that was his name. 
the one from Memphis, the 16 year old, shit, he didn't have shit to do with live. It was his dumb ass cousin who got him fucked up. Like, what the fuck? Like, come on, bro. That, that's just dumb as fuck. Like, bro, if that was me and that was my homie and I hear him on live just saying some stupid shit like that. I'm finna hit this nigga upside the head, drop, make him break his phone or something. Cause why the fuck you saying stupid shit like that, bitch? We on the way to our partner funeral, and you on live trying to hit with these niggas saying they some bitches. They ain't never sent a slingshot our way, bro. For one, you keep that shit in the street. You don't go live talking about shit. No matter if a nigga making a diss or whatever, I right, let them make that diss cool. Let them rip off that. Boom, boom, boom. You just sit back, you feel me, scope your shit out, get your play together. This nigga wanna go live at the funeral. They funeral for their partner. You wasn't at a funeral for your auntie, no, a relative nigga. You at the funeral for your partner that just got killed by some niggas you hit with. Bro, that's the dumbest thing I ever fucking heard. Now this little nigga lost his life. He was on the 16. Probably would have been the fucking beast out of Memphis. Cause I ain't gonna lie, Memphis rappers be hard as fuck. Like. It's something about them Memphis rappers. They be hard in the motherfucker. But, hey, that's the end of the video, man. Y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think, man. Especially about that, about the live situation. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think. Hey, overall, bro, if you got any th type of motion going on, whether it's legal or illegal, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, just move smart with your shit. Don't be posting guns. Don't be posting money. Don't be posting no drugs. Bro, keep your shit low-key. Keep it under the table. Like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, y'all got families to live for. You know what I'm saying? Your mama ain't trying to bury her child. And I know you don't want to bury your mama. Because you got to think about it. Not only is you putting your life in danger, my nigga, you putting your family life in danger, too. You feel me? So you can't can't be selfish and think about yourself, man. But, hey, I'm going to catch you on the next video, man. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button, bro. We're running it up. Like I told y'all, 2023 going to be a fucking movie all year, man. We hitting the 100K. No cap. Hey, I'm grinding my ass off. I don't care what I got to do. We going to get that game.